Today we are out here in Utah. We're on some Crandall family land. This is Lee Crandall, everybody. This is one of my best buddies in the whole world. And he has never shot a Desert Eagle, which is a, in this case, a 50 cal handgun. Mine is chambered in 50 Action Express. Thanks to the folks at Magnum Research for sending this out. And he's gonna shoot it. So we're trying something today. I don't know if it'll work, but a lot of you know, well, maybe not a lot of you, but if you know anything about body armor, level four body armor is normally ceramic based. It's good for one shot of uh, like 30 out six or other high powered rifles. But as soon as you get shot and the ceramic breaks up, it's not good anymore. Obviously ceramic mixed with Kevlar and other things, not like necessarily together, but could be layered or however they do it. I don't know. But because of that, we brought all these plates out here. I think they need to be separated. Whoa! They didn't not break. one of them broke. Oh, one of them did? I said not one of them. Oh, sweet. This is great news for the test. So what we're gonna do, Let's stack these plates up and see how many it gets through because I'm curious how is it like the same kind of ceramic? Is it something different? I don't know, but we're gonna try 50 cal Desert Eagle versus ceramic plates and see how many it can get through. This is some very scientific stuff going on. We don't have like a jig or anything made for it, so we're just using rocks to stack them up. Hopefully the plates don't break each other. We're gonna stand down in this rut. Honestly, I'll probably have you kneel down, Lee so that you're on the same level with it. And for anyone that's about to comment being like, this isn't a scientific test, yeah, no sh We're using rocks to stack this thing up. Of course it's not scientific. This is for fun, you idiots. Stop commenting about being scientific. I don't give a sh I just wanna go have fun. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plates standing up right there that we are going to try shooting through. And we are going to hopefully not hit any, of, hit any of the rocks holding it up. And Lee, you're gonna have to kneel down and get online with them from down here. 10 four. All righty, let's go get the Desert Eagle. Case hardened Desert Eagle for Magnum Research and is chambered in 50 Action Express, which is a 50 caliber handgun. For any of you that are wondering, legitimate 50 caliber handgun. Lee has never shot one of these before. Big bullet. Hold on tight, don't hit yourself in the face. <laughs> I hope I don't hit myself in the face. All right, you feel like you're lined up? Yeah, right here, I think. All right, when you're ready, just drop the slide. Safety. You didn't hit yourself in the head. I'm really glad I didn't. Nice. That would been embarrassing. How was it? It was awesome <laughs> uh it's pretty clear that it didn't go through all the plates let's see if that's a hit Operator thing or, or well no because you shot the first how, how many were there there were seven one two three four well, there was three little ones and we obliterated those and for it to be the little ones it was the right height to go through the big ones as well so not getting all scientific and shit but I think it stopped after three. With now. the top of this, I think uh, deflection wise, it took an upward trajectory and started going over them. But put that put that plate back in and try again. My guess is that it deflected and went up and over, went through the Dang. first three on an upward trajectory and went up somewhere into the hill. I think it just... That's my guess. Yeah, probably. Let's shoot it again. See if you can make it through the other four. This is round two. There's five plates up there now because we think the trajectory changed. We're trying again. All right, ready when you are. That was about as straight as you could possibly do it, and there is still one plate left. Dude, I think the ceramic's actually stopping it. Dude, I legitimately think that that bullet is being stopped and or deflected somewhere pretty effectively by these dinner plates. Yeah, and a bit of a rock. You did kind of hit this rock a little bit. I don't know, I think it might be stopping them, or it's either stopping or deflecting them effectively enough to Surprise me, at least. Hell uh, yeah. I was expecting it to just go right through all of them. Okay, we're gonna take these plates to a different spot where we can set them up in some soft dirt instead of with rocks so that we take rocks out of the equation. Yeah, let's just dig them into this, into this dirt. Oh yeah, this will be way better. Mm -hmm. You can get some space in between them. Don't have to worry about the rocks. This way too, there's a little more separation. There's not something touching them, so it's not gonna be breaking from impact. 
The only way these are going to break is actual projectile or shrapnel, I guess, going back. But hopefully just projectile and we can actually see what's happening. All right, this is all the plates we have left. So we got five plates up. You're going to have to get pretty low because we don't have a ditch to stand in now. The Desert Eagle is locked and loaded. I'm going to have to be about that high. Yeah, because you're going to have to get in line with those plates as best as you can. Oh, going prone with the Desert Eagle. <laughs> this... It's gonna be interesting, just don't hit yourself in the head, whatever you do. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Dude, remaining plate again! What the heck? I think it's actually working. There's no rocks in there to mess it up this time. There's no way that trajectory is off because you're on the exact same level as them. I got the gun which is unloaded and safe. There was five plates and now there's only one left. Okay. Dude, I think the plate's actually stopping it. It's gotta be breaking up the projectile enough to just completely avoid this last plate. Let's dig around a little bit, see if we can find some fragments of lead or something. When it comes to ammo for 50 cal handguns, 50 Action Express, you pretty much can only buy hollow points. So take that with a little bit grain of salt. I don't have full metal jackets to do this with. The only thing available to me was hollow points. So obviously it's gonna fragment a little easier than normal, but still for it to never have reached the last plate, I'm honestly very surprised and pretty impressed. All right, we're gonna dig around in this dirt a little bit, see if we can find projectile or fragments of and figure this thing out. I don't even see anything that looks like fragments of lead. Oh. There's a little. Oh yeah, a little bit shiny, shiny piece of copper jacket right there. That's cool. So there is fragments. The bullet's definitely breaking up, so it's probably breaking up the bullet effectively enough to not make it to the last plate. That's cool. cool. I'm no scientist, but if that's what's actually happening, that's cool. Sounds good to me. Yeah. As far as I can tell, that's what's happening. I can't find any more fragments. So on that note, we're gonna start cleaning up, but as far as I can tell, those plates are doing a good enough job for it to only make it through four plates before it's fragmented enough to not make it to the fifth plate. And with the force of that gun, it's honestly kind of likely that it's completely fragmenting in the first plate or two, and that it's the extra shards of plate hitting the other plates with enough force to break them. So I don't actually know, I'm not a professional, but if you like the videos, if you're entertained, Go uh, support us on Patreon, go like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. YouTube demonetizes all of my gun videos. So the only way I can keep this going is help from viewers like you, help from companies like Magnum Research that sent out that Desert Eagle for me to use for videos. Uh, so go check out our Patreon, support us there, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.